Welcome back to Primetime News. And a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. Up first this evening, a taxi operator believed to be behind what's been dubbed No Movement Day is in police custody. The protest action saw hundreds of commuters stranded across the island as taxi drivers withdrew their service, some blocking roads in protest against the demerit system under the new Road Traffic Act. As Sandy Williams reports, the police say the man in question has been operating without proper documentation. This is not about a taxi operator. This is about any owners of a driver's license. White plate, red plate, truck driver, bus driver, we all join solidarity to secure our driver's license. This taxi operator goes by the name Outer Road, but he's been doing so, according to the police, without proper documentation. At the Montego Bay Transport Center, he had burning questions for the police who were trying to maintain order during Monday's protest. The police, in turn, had questions of their own. The law requires for you to be able to get a police record, right? Mm -hmm. And you're not able to get one. So what are you doing? He didn't respond, but shortly after, he was taken into custody for further questioning. He plies the Hopewell to Montego Bay route and has been pushing for taxi operators to stay off the job. We're showing the government that we are the people. We control the world. One thing was clear, however, that some of the operators did not know why they were protesting, but did it anyway. Commanding Officer for St. James Police Superintendent Aaron Samuels made the observation after speaking to a group of them under the glaring eyes of stranded commuters. It seems to me that a lot of you are withdrawing your service and don't even know why. That is true. So what is the main issue? Because at the end of the day, you are losing money. Right. And I think I think I don't think it's a wise move for you to lose a day's pay or day's earnings. For something that you don't know what you're, what you're, what you're, what you're let me, let me demonstrating about. The police were forced to increase their presence at the location after a taxi operator was hospitalized after coming under attack for not participating in the strike. His attacker fled the scene. When an operator wants to continue working, allow him to continue, um, we want to ensure that persons get to and from work. And you're heard. You have withdrew your service and you are hurt. But let us begin the dialogue now. And we don't want a situation to spiral out of control where taxi operators start fighting with taxi operators. Our intention is to maintain peace, safety, law and order. Sandy Williams, TVJ News. Now, the impact of the protest action was far-reaching, affecting schools as well as the working population. Romada Lyons reports. Two hours. In that time, one could watch an entire movie. But without the usual dependable taxi service on Monday, it took Alicia Keys that amount of time to get her son to school. Um, my daughter and her son walk from Golden Spring to Stone Hill this morning. There's no taxi. No vehicle, so I don't want to miss school, so therefore I took him. Miss Keys says they rely heavily on taxis, as JUTC buses do not frequent the area. So to walk is... A good distance, walking. Well, I like a two-hour walking, yeah. So what time did you leave home this morning, and what time you got to school? I leave home after 7 this morning, and when I reach it after 9. The journey back home is no different. The impact was felt across rural St. Andrew. We saw this teacher at a bus stop around 12.30. My teacher at the Randolph Lope School of Hope, but we are at the Stony Hill unit. Um, so my assistant and others got um, called that the area they live in was blocked off. On a regular day, school is dismissed at 2.30. On Monday, however, that wasn't the case, as more than half the school population was absent due to the strike. I have students that live past Temple Hall, so uh, we have to send on the students that live at that side so that they won't be stuck in traffic. 
and we, my assistant lived um, past um, above rocks and they had blocked that area also so she got just got call somebody and get a vehicle to go at one destination and she has to walk from one destination to the other to get on a transportation home a disgruntled father lamented how his son had to wait almost four hours before leaving school. The man, the man, the exam had finished from nine o'clock and he can't reach home. So it affected him a lot. This was him and his son at 12.50. I had to take him to school this morning, pick him up at nine o'clock and it affected me a lot. To take him home and say right now he not reach home as it because I'm a daughter to go back to three o'clock at school. So it affected me a lot. Over in Westmoreland, taxi operators said it was never their intention for things to escalate to that point. But the circumstances under which they work, they complained, demanded a strong message. That message is being sent today. We are not comfortable with most of the things that we are um, Rule facing, the, the rules and the regulation that they set for taxi men. At Savannah Lamar Transportation Center, school children waited patiently. Some decided to journey by foot. I wish the, the, the passengers would cooperate with us so things would be better for us. Parents should have, have kept their children inside, not letting them out because they know this would be the situation. And in St. Catherine, dismay, particularly about the demerit point system, which will see taxi drivers' licenses being suspended for six months if they lose 10 points. So it is really a problem with the operators that they are going to lose their license and some have been losing their license. So we are saying to the powers that be, we need to meet and revisit the road traffic laws. Ramada Lyons, TVJ News. Now, trans.